what's going on guys welcome to a new video and today i'm gonna take y'all to what i do on my rest days i've been going through a lot of injuries so i want to show y'all how i stay motivated through them and what i do to fix them um, as we get injuries that doesn't mean we have to stop sometimes it does depending on the gravity of it but other times we just got to find ways to go through them so today i'm going to show y'all what i do to keep going through my injuries and to push past them so uh yeah i'm about to go to the gym Y'all missed uh, protein pancakes today. It's Saturday. There was supposed to be a video today, but it'll just be Sunday. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take y'all to the gym and then we're gonna get started. So uh, yeah, I got some exciting news for y'all. So stay tuned. Man, it's really one of those really hot days today in Florida. Holy shit. Um, so, man, sometimes, you know, I wish we didn't have to wear clothes, but now I'm playing. Uh, but really, um, so I'm gonna about to go. I'm about to go to head to the gym, but I wanted to show y'all this today. I feel a little bit tired. I don't know what it is. I woke up, and uh, my body was just feeling really, really tired. And um, so, what I'm gonna do is, or what I did was, I went and took a nap, and then I woke up now. And I want to do something because I hate when my body doesn't move. Uh, that's something that I always try to do is always move even if, it, even if it's light. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and bike for 20 to 30 minutes depending on how I feel. Um, we're going to get in the sauna for 15 and then we're going to do, before, well, before all of that, we're going to do some rehabilitating shoulder um, exercises. That That's a place where um, I'm injured right now. My knee. We're probably gonna do some stuff. It's a lot better. I got to squat yesterday, so I'm super, super happy. Um, it's near, nowhere near what I used to squat, but we're getting close, we're getting somewhere. So, knee, shoulder, and then I'm gonna do some back work as well. I feel like my back has been feeling tight, especially my lats, so you're gonna see a little bit of lat work. Um, some of the stretches that I do for myself on a daily basis, well, I haven't really been doing that much. That's why I'm injured. But something that you guys can really just keep for yourself and learn from me, um, and yeah. So let's get to the gym, and then I'll see y'all there. Peace. Gotta throw a party for my day ones. They ain't in the studio, but they in lay some. Rest in peace of Drama King. He was straight stud. If I let my nigga 21 to So we made it to the gym, and uh, I'm itching. I just had that rise pre-workout. Can't have cage because it has creatine in it. So recently I've been um, getting off and on creatine. So two weeks on, one week off. And this is my uh, week off. So I gotta use another supplement or pre-workout. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some um, banded internal rotations. Again, to work on my shoulder. I messed it up and I kept pushing past it. And that's not the best. <laughs> and um, I've, I've been learning that, so I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not the best advisor when it comes to giving advice on injuries, because I always try to push past them. But recently I've been learning that sometimes you just gotta take one step back to move five forward or three forward. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, we're gonna start with shoulders, so I'll, I'll show you what I do. So what I'm gonna do, our internal rotations. So I'm gonna take a band, I'm gonna grab, and I'm gonna have my elbow right next to my obliques. Again, chest out, back straight. The goal is to move it forward or in and let it rotate out. This is easy, so I'm gonna move out a little bit more, pushing in. What I'm gonna do is do 20 reps of this and then it should start firing up. And that's what I do for my rest days. Again, today is more of a, just keeping myself active, working on the naggy things, and then doing things that I normally don't do, like a lot of cardio in 20, 30 minutes. I don't normally do that. It's already firing up and it's hurting. Um, but also getting on the sauna, and eventually too, getting in the cold plunge, but that's not happening today. So again, 20 reps, 
on each side. Man, it's already firing up. So again, one thing that will happen, and you'll see it, I've, I've caught myself a couple times already, my shoulder starts to creep up forward, and that's just the body compensating. So you wanna make sure that your elbow, or the shoulder is back, your chest is out, back is straight. Ooh. Yeah, so, next we got a different variation. I don't even know what you call this, but again, still working on that internal rotation. Right now, it's firing up. All I'm doing is moving in, and again, controlling that movement back. You want to make sure that you feel and you build a connection with the muscle, the joint. Just feel it out, see what's going on, figure out how it moves. And again, we're doing just 20 reps of this. It's already firing up. And I'm on rep four. This is not really a workout, but it's making me sweat and it's getting my joints and st stabilizing muscles ready for when I'm putting a lot of load in there. And that's something that I haven't really done in a while or at all, and I've been learning. So that's one way that you can go about uh, treating your injuries. There's always a way or something that you can do to help them. You don't have to rest only, depending on the gravity of the injury, of course. But there's always something that you can do that can help that injury recover faster, um, heal faster. I don't even know. Uh, and this is this is one of the things that I've started to do. It does take a lot of patience, which I don't really have, but I am learning to have. So yeah. One set, that's it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm sweating. And it's getting nasty. <laughs> but it's something simple. I feel a lot better. I mean, I came in, this hurted. This was hurting a lot, now it hurts a little bit less. So it does help to do simple things like this. Um, anytime you start, you're about to start a workout, this literally took a minute or two to do, to do this. You'll warm up your shoulders, you'll avoid injuries, and then you just feel overall a lot better because you'll get better contractions, better range of motion. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to the next thing. All right, y'all. So, so next thing we got Spanier squats. I think that's me. Don't quote me on this. I'm not really good with the terminology of things, but hey, here we go. So again, I have an injury in my left knee, my band, my T-band is jammed into my quad. It's getting better, I was able to squat yesterday. So, um, we're making progress. But this is something that I was taught by one of my um, coworkers, and it really does help strengthen the knees uh, because it's a, in a different plane of motion. So my knees are staying directly above my ankles. They're not bending at all. Usually in a squat, you'll have this position where your knees are moving forward and they're above your toes. So for this, keeping my knees over my ankles, and what I'm doing is I'm squatting, I'm holding, holding, trying to distribute the weight throughout my feet. Hold. And you're gonna hold for at least like 30 seconds. And then keep that torso straight. Feel comfortable with it. If you start to move forward, go ahead and push yourself back. You're not gonna fall. Again, this band is a heavy band, so there is a quite a bit of resistance to hold me up. So I'm moving up. And we're gonna do about three reps of this. So I was going. Yeah. So this is my third day or fourth day. Um, where I've been on a deload, not really lifting as heavy as I normally do, so 40% of everything that I do. And um, yesterday was quad focused leg day. And if I'm being honest, I feel the exact same as if I had done uh, quad focused leg day to 
my normal routine or my normal weights, uh, I was able to connect more. And that is because I was able to connect more with my muscle so that that mind-muscle connection was better. Uh, two, I was really able to slow down the movement even more, even more than what I normally do. Uh, um, I haven't been working on a lot of reps, so I was able to get a few extra reps. So a little bit more volume, meaning I was staying between that 12 to 15 rep range rather than that 6 to 8 where I normally stick to. And um, I'm not going to lie, my quads feel real bad. Um, it's not as crazy, but I do, I still struggle to get upstairs and going downstairs. So uh, that's one thing. Yeah. All right. So here we go with lat stretches and working on my back. So again, everything we've done so far is just one set, 20 reps. With this one, it's more of five reps on each side and I'll show you how this looks like. But again, you would just do it once if you need it more. One set, if you, knew, if you need more, just do an extra one. I mean, it's up to you what you feel. Say, so I'm gonna use TRX straps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a wide position with my feet and then lean back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over to one side, whichever side you are, you want to. So right now I'm sliding to my right side and I'm going to twist and look under my left. And what's going on right now, all of this is stretched out. So now back, other side. And twist. Guys, one thing I recommend is that you breathe through all of this so that your body relaxes. Feel the stretch. You're gonna repeat this five times on each side. So this is number two. Woo. Last one. Oh yeah. Now that I did that, it even feels a lot better. So if you see, let me pick this up. When I do this, remember I said it used to hurt. Now I don't feel it at all. And if I do, it's very, very minimal. Now if I turn, I don't feel this at all either. And this was painful at the beginning. So it's just those things that you do that can help. And again, it might feel good today, but if when I cool down in a couple hours, it might start hurting again a little less than it was. But this is something that you should do pretty consistently, I would say every day. It doesn't take much, literally five to 10 minutes before you start working out. Do this and I promise you, you'll feel a lot better. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for rehabilitating exercises or stretches that I'm gonna do today. Uh, now it's time for biking, just 20, 30 minutes. And then, yeah. I'll see I'll see y'all in the cycling room. Uh, sweat sets just done okay. a little bit of sweat nothing too crazy but we're done with the uh, bike now sauna time and then we probably do some core um, it's been a while I don't really normally do core so we're gonna do core and then we'll go from there so nothing too crazy just 25 minutes of cardio and that's pretty much it so I'll check y'all out at the sauna. I probably won't bring you in, but you'll see me after. <laughs> Peace.
Uh, so, decided to add a posing session too. Uh, it's been something that I've been spending a lot of time in. I'm not really gonna compete, but I like it. I like it a lot. And um, yeah, just trying to get better. I can get some good pictures from that. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, that's pretty much it. What I do on my recovery days is something that I started to implementing. I mean, just working on the, sp the muscles around, uh, really isolating the area where I'm injured at, and uh, then just doing some, some slight cardio. Very little, very minimal. As you saw, I wasn't sweating as much. And um, yeah, and then the sauna, the sauna is just for inflammation, or, and then just kind of getting everything out of the system. I like having a little sweat session in there. Um, I feel good after. I do feel a little bit tired, but it's still nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, how I push past those injuries is just by keeping that mindset of it's all going to get better. I'm still going to evolve and I'm still going to grow. Um, again, taking a couple steps back doesn't mean that you're going in the wrong direction. It can mean that you're taking a little bit of time to fix something and then you're gonna launch. So I like to think of it as a slingshot. Um, you're moving back, that's you taking a couple steps back, but what you don't know is that there's tension and once you let go, you're gonna give five, six, I mean it could be two, three, four, five, six, whichever many steps forward and you're still gonna be growing, especially when we have those moments where we plateau um, and we don't see the growth anymore. It's good to reevaluate, take a step back, and then figure out a plan of how to move forward. Because a lot of the times doing the same thing over and over and over again doesn't really help or it doesn't really get you anywhere. So uh, yeah, those are my two cents on uh, recovery and just pushing past uh, injuries. Uh, again, there's always a way to move past them. So you can still work out even if it's lighter. Um, just make sure you slow down the movement, focus on contractions, and build that connection with your mind and, mind and muscle. And then if it's very severe, just lay off of it for a little bit. Focus on something else. Sometimes we don't get to do the things that we enjoy, but that's okay because uh, we need to grow overall. And um, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, but at the same time, motivate you guys and motivate the people around me. Uh, I love it when I get people that come up to me and they're like, Hey man, you're doing a great job. Uh, you're an inspiration to me because I see you here every day. You know, it's not. I don't. I don't like having that mentality of a quitter, where I quit just because something hurts or because I don't feel good. And there's sometimes that I come into the gym and I have two hours, three hours of sleep. I'm not saying that's good. Um, it's just been a learning experience for me. But I still come. It's a commitment to myself um, to grow and to be better and to just showcase what I have. I love this and I love what I do and I'm going to keep doing it even if it, if it costs me uh, taking a couple steps back like I'm doing right now with this deload week um, and then it just helps me move forward as well because now I like this deloading so every two so I'm going to go two weeks going hard and six to eight reps and growing and then one week where I just deload and I take it easy uh, just so my body can rest and take one step back so I can move again three four so yeah. So that's going to be it for the video. Again, thank you guys for hanging out with me and coming to watch this video. Um, if you haven't yet, hit that like and subscribe button. And then turn on notifications because I do drop one new video every week. Um, and if you have anything that you want to see specifically from me, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'd like to make that for you and make that possible for you to see uh, what I do for whatever situation you may need. If it's cooking meals, if it's a certain body part that you want to work out, if it's more like this, things that are educative and kind of teaching you things that I do in order to achieve something, I'd like to do that as well. So let me know in the comments below. And then again, guys, I can't say this enough. Thank you so much for the love and support. Um, we're actually, let me see, we're sitting at 226 followers on Instagram and we're just keeping on growing uh, I love and appreciate you guys again if you use my code for any of the uh, places where I'm affiliated with like weight train cage or boss bears please send me your orders I I love to thank you and um, yeah so I hope y'all have an excellent day keep being yourself keep pushing to be better
and dare to be different. Peace.